beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Happy Memorial Day to everyone today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that served and made this country possible for what it is today. I have a, I would say, medium-sized Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to start, I guess, with the food items first. Yeah, we're going to start with the food items first. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, my sweets. I finally, finally found the Tingly Ted's Mixed by Ed and Ted Tingly Sauce Hot Sauce. It's a 9.3, um, 34-ounce bottle of hot sauce. We've been seeing this floating around on everyone's channels. And I did taste it, but I can't really judge it yet until I put it on some food. But it only has one pepper on it, if you could see. So it's not that hot. And the Best Buy is uh, la 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 October eleventh, two thousand twenty-four. Hmm. So you got it until October eleventh. It says refrigerate after opening. Shake to wake Ted. <laughs> no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. And it says it's vegan. So I'm gonna have to get my glasses to read this because this is imprinted in um in the pink. And y'all know them light colors. I can't see. So this says, who's Ted? He's Ed Sheeran's sidekick. A Teddy with a taste for hot sauce and a craving for adventure. Together, they've made a mix for all. It's loud, the chili sings, and it brings a tingle to everything from breaky to late night, breaky to late night nuggets, okay? And then you can scan to turn up the flavor, Blah, 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 yada, yada. So it did have a kick, definitely had a kick, but it wasn't an overpowering kick. So I was looking for this, but I'm still uh, want to try my, t um, what was it called? Texas Pete, the garlic sauce one. So I did try this one. I didn't think to draw, um, try the Texas Pete one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in Rocky Mount, I found these when I was in Rocky Mount. Um, weeks ago, and uh, once again, I forgot to put them in my cart and got all the way home and said, where's my orange juice? And I couldn't find them. I didn't get them, but I saw them again of all places in a small little Dollar Tree right outside of my town called Kittrell or Franklinton, excuse me, Franklinton. And it was the Florida Natural, a farmer's cooperative since 1933. And this is 100% premium orange juice, y'all. Now, y'all know when they give us a name brand, really real orange juice, they're going to make it smaller. So they went from the 20-ounce um, orange juice down to 10 ounces. And this is um, Best Buy January 20th, 2025. But honey, I was glad just to get some real orange juice for $1.25, okay? So it says 100% premium orange juice from Concentrate, a premium blend of orange juice, from our Florida Grove, the world's premier citrus growing region, fresh from the Grove taste. And it's in, made in the USA. So they got the little flag down here. But yeah, I found them again and I grabbed two, which was my intentions when I saw them the first time all the way up in Rocky Mount. I have not seen them in any of the other stores yet, but I was surprised to find them at that little small Dollar Tree in Franklinton. So I did grab these. I will be putting these in the refrigerator, maybe making slushies out of them like I did with my other ones, my Donald Duck one. So I was happy to see them and it's not even 10 minutes away from me. So if I want more, I can run right up there and get it. And you guys have seen me um, buying the plain pizzas from Aldi's in my grocery shopping hauls. And I love that pizza. I cannot believe that pizza is that good. And it's only like $2.79, $2.99, something like that. But they do have ones with pepperoni and other stuff. But I just like the plain one. I bring it home. I defrost it. And then I put on the top of the pizza whatever I want. And I don't add more sauce. I just add more um, mozzarella cheese. 
lots of mozzarella cheese and then whatever toppings I want to put on. So I had opened my last box of the Hormel um, pepperoni, the two pouches, and it seems like these are just like overstocked at the Dollar Tree right now, which I'm kind of glad about. This is um, prepare or freeze by August 20th, 2024 be gone long, long, long before then because I pretty much pick up a pizza in every grocery haul and I had that, I think, Thursday or Friday night, something like that. So I got another one of my pepperonis and these are two new items that I had not seen and Odessa and I were together after church Sunday and we were in the Raleigh Dollar Tree and we both found these and I was like, I think Odessa bought a couple of these and I didn't really, really, as always, pay much attention to what I was getting <laughs> or I too would have bought several packs, okay? But this is called Del Monte Quality Bubble Fruit Peach Strawberry Lemonade Peach and Popping Boba Boba with sweetened juice, okay? No artificial flavors, no artificial sweetness. It says delicious bursting bubbles. I was just looking at the fruit, y'all. I was like, oh, peach, strawberry, lemonade? Ooh, that should be a good combination. I totally missed the bubble, the bubble, whatever y'all call it. But I was like, oh, wow, this is so cool. Y'all know how I love my little fruit cups. I was like, Oh, I should have grabbed more. I hope I see them again somewhere. And I'll redo what, what it says on the back. Let me just put the specs on real quick. Y'all hear anything? That's my AC coming on. Because, honey, it is stinking hot here in North Kekalaki. Rain, rain, and more rain. So much rain that the ground can't absorb it. So there's just pools of water everywhere and then the mosquitoes are like in attack mode i can barely even step out on my patio for a millisecond before they're eating me up but anyway i digress okay <laughs> but this is what it says it says del monte bubble fruit filling bubbly we've added popping bubble boba to our tasty fruit cups to our tasty fruit cup snacks um, for an unexpected burst of flavor popular in bubble tea and frozen yogurt shops. Popping boba burst and release a blast of fruit flavor when you bite them. Our juicy peaches are grown in the best orchards, producing fruit that is sweet and succulent. It's a way to add a little sweetness to your day. And then it's 50 calories per cup. It's no, uh, 5 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of sugar, 12 grams of carb, no trans fats or anything like that. But this is what it looks like on the back. So you see the peaches and the boba. Can y'all see that? Because I can't. I got my glasses on still can't see it. So yeah, I'm kind of excited, y'all. I'm really excited to try this. But of course, these have to be chilled for me in order for me to... Um, indulging them and I'm not seeing it looks kind of slippery I'm not seeing anything in here but peaches so yeah I was trying to see if I could get a sneak peek of the bubble or the bubble whatever it's called um yeah I'm not getting a sneak peek of that oh yeah I see it I see it y'all I'll see it y'all see that little um oh god where did they go there they are there they are can y'all see them I'm just like, they're in there. They're definitely in there. So, yeah, I grabbed one. Like I said, Odessa grabbed a couple of them, I believe. But I wasn't paying attention. And the last of the food item for today is something I found. And I believe Odessa grabbed one as well. This is by Betty Crocker. This is a rainbow cookie kit. And I don't believe I ever saw this particular one in the Dollar Tree anywhere, y'all. Ooh, every time I look up, I see them specs. Okay, this says the kit includes special sprinkles, frosting, and cookie mix. It's supposed to make 12 cookies. Do not eat raw cookie dough. It's a net weight of 11.6 ounces. 
and it looks really really interesting and i you know i take stuff like this and i just make it my own if i don't care for the sprinkles i'll put chocolate chips you could put uh, peanut butter you could do all kinds of things nuts drizzle some chocolate over top of it but yeah it says it's october 17th 2024 so you have until october to use this and this was one of the items that was in the thumbnail along with the um, bubble peaches or whatever they are. And it's a Betty Crocker. So I was like, hey, this looks pretty cool. Let's let's twiddle around with it a little bit. So I did grab that. Okay, my mm -hmm. sweets. Most of the rest of this stuff is like cosmetics. I'm telling you, the Dollar Tree is just crack -a out all this beautiful cosmetics and beauty items. And I got some of it, but I did not get it all. And I found what I found in Raleigh, not here in my little town. But I'm telling you guys, not every store is putting it out or getting it. I don't know which one is which. You know, the Dollar Trees, I saw a big write-up on the news the other day about the Dollar Tree cutting the hours and laying off people. And I'm like, why? You need the help. <laughs> but anywho, I digress. But I saw these beautiful, beautiful and headbands down in Raleigh after church. I believe it was Raleigh, yeah. And they had them in various different colors. And I checked my camera to see if I had filmed any of it. And for some reason, I didn't. I don't know why. But this was the one that I picked. They are just like the other ones, but these are so well made. These are better made than the first round that came out. They went viral on TikTok. You still see TikTok commercials with them using these headbands as their um as they prepare their makeup and they got their headbands holding hair back. But when I saw this color, and to me it looks like a fuchsia. They had black, they had lighter pink, they had several different colors, y'all. I wish I had a filmed it so I could um show you but these are so nicely made and they're just like the other ones but i just think they're better made and they're so soft y'all know i need to lay off the headbands this is a new one that i got in rocky mount and i'm just like but these headbands are the bomb y'all <laughs> they are the bomb until they start hurting me on the side and then i have to move them up or move them down whatever it's an easy fix, okay? But I had to have this one. If I had, I had a purple, purple one, y'all know I would have gotten it. So I think I have enough pink headbands now. And speaking of headbands, they had these beautiful, again, makeup headbands that most people use them for. This is by Spa Hair Band. Um, this is a green briar product, yep. This is a green briar product. They had three different motifs. This was the one that I chose. I chose the light pink with the strawberry on it. I believe I showed you guys these in a uh, previous walkthrough. They are so cute. And y'all know I don't need it, but it was just too cute. And I always hand wash these first before I use them. Because if I don't, they just get all kinds of little pieces of this material all throughout my hair. And y'all see, this is a rat's nest, okay? You get a little piece of lint like this in your hair. And you sit here for hours just trying to detangle the hair to pull it all out. But anywho, I digress. <laughs> But they had a dark pink with a, a lime on it, and they had a pineapple one. So I just chose this one. See? See what I mean? This is exactly what I'm talking about, okay? That came right out of there. But I love this one. I just thought it was so pretty. So I grabbed that one. And I'm so mad at myself because while I was all the way down in Emporia, Virginia... I found another pack of the 10 ready to use max mask value packs, but it was in lavender and I could not remember which one I had at home. I was like, it looks different. It was all purple. Me, I left something purple behind. Yes, I did y'all because that's how I am rolling right now. I'm so confused. I'm so tired. I'm usually focused on other things and I looked at it and I said, oh my God. And I got all the way home and saw that I had the green tea one. And I wish I had to pick that lavender one up. And it was all the way, all the way down in Emporia, Virginia. Ain't no telling when I'm going to get back down there again. They'll probably be long gone before then. 
So I guess I'm left showing you the spa life and anti-aging. Our green tea has a concentrated formula that will help treat and target fine lines and wrinkles as it saturates skin with moisture. Ultra moisturizing 20 minute facial therapy. And these are paraben free. It's a net weight of 0.63 ounces. And I'm sure you guys have seen these. These are not individually wrapped in this package but you do get the value pack, or is that what they're calling it? Yeah, the value pack. You get 10 in this pack. And I'm so mad because they had the lavender one and I didn't know which one I had. I thought there was only one out because I really honestly don't remember ever seeing the lavender one. So I thought it was just one kind out. Anyway, I got this. They tell you the instructions on here, but again, these are not individually wrapped. There, You open the pack, and it is a resealable pack right here, so you can open it up and close it. It says open right here. So, yeah, I did pick those up. Finally found them, and I thought, sure, that was the only one out there. Okay, okay. Out of all of the new beauty items that I was seeing that I saw for the first time. I was trying to pick through what I know I would use because a lot of times I'll buy everything new that I see and I'll be like, it'll just sit here or I'll try to put it in giveaways or whatever. But I tried to just choose the items that I know I would use. And these are by B Color. It's a three piece, they're the powder puffs, and they're so cute. They're multicolored or tie dye color, if you can see them. And you put your finger or your couple of fingers under here, and you can get into the creases and stuff like that. These are the kind of things that I would definitely use. And they look like they are soft as I don't know what. They look almost like um, what is the material? It's so cute. It's a green... Oh, it's a four-star. It's by the four-star group, y'all. I thought it was green bride product. Y'all see how much I pay attention to things, right? Oh, my goodness. Yep. That feels so good. Can you imagine that on your face? Look at that. It is so soft. Forgive me. My nails got all messed up. But, oh, my God. And it's so pretty. It's colorful. And they all got the little ribbon around here. I don't know if you can reverse the ribbon. Yep, you can. You can reverse the ribbon and use the other side when this side gets soiled. So that's really, really cute. So it's almost like six in a pack instead of three. So that's a great, great item. So I got that. And then I found, I saw a variety of these. And at first I was like, eh, I don't need these. But then again... I was, I was thinking, yes, when I separate my hair to detangle it, these were not too small for me. These, I saw the, I showed you guys the rubber bands, the elastics in the previous walkthrough, and these are just ponytail holders. So, and they come in multiple colors and they're in that cute little donut case. And this little peach right, um, package that they have everything written in is really, really hard to see, but it's by the um, same company, Greenbrier, I believe. Yeah, uh, let me just double check that because that peach writing is, is that four star? And I can't even see it with my glasses on. Nope, Greenbrier International. Okay. So this one is Greenbrier International, and it has the multicolor little ponytail holders. I think they had larger ones. They had different ones, different varieties, but this was the one I chose for right now. If I see some more and they're a little bit larger, I might grab them, okay? And this was so cute. We had the other ones that came out, the Dollar Tree came out with earlier, the ice cream cone um, sponge blender or blender. This one is the makeup brush, and it's in the multicolors. Look at that, y'all. This is B Color, and I just thought that was so gorgeous. Y'all know how I feel about the multicolors, and it's a four-star item. It is not a green briar. As you can see, I pre-opened it. I tried to be... Look at that, y'all. Look how soft that is. Oh, my God. Almost feels like a little... Sh when the mans are shaving, but... This is so pretty, and this is actually heavier 
than the first one that came out. The first one that came out that just looked like the ice cream cone with the ice cream on it was a little bit lighter, but this has some weight to it. But I think this is great, you know. You want to do your blush or whatever, and it's so soft and pretty. So I definitely had to grab me one of those, okay? And then, let's see what else we got here. Speaking on the blenders, I'm sure you guys have seen these. So I'm going to show you to these. Show you okay. these. Next. I was completely blown away when I first saw these, y'all. I was just like, first of all, these are exactly the ones that I normally purchase from the Dollar Tree. But the Dollar Tree has not been carrying them for eons. When we used to get the white pack with about 12 of those white blenders, and you have to pull them apart and then use them, put them in your eyeshadow, whatever. I've been looking for them for a while, and I haven't seen them. But when I saw these cute little decorative fruit, they're bringing everything out in fruit, it seems like, and I'm loving it, okay? But they have all these little blenders. You got to be careful with the apple because the leaf constantly falls off, and it is just so cute, y'all. I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe. Now, let me see if I can open this. Oh, I had it taped. Okay, I forgot I had it taped. Uh, they had it taped. I thought I had pre-opened it, but it stuck back down. So, let me open this and I'll okay, be right back. I'll try. I'll try to be on the ball, all right? But it was pre-taped on both sides. And I had already pre-opened this so that it wouldn't be so hard to open. And I didn't want it to come completely off. So, I left the tape on that side. But these are the kind of blenders, and they're very, very soft. But these right here are like my favorite because you can get all the way up in there. Y'all know as we get older, we need, you know, <laughs> we need help. My favorite color, not exactly my favorite size, but my favorite color. And then they have another one like this. Like these are my favorite right here. But aren't they cute? I think you get about five blenders different size, different shapes, and different colors in each container. So I was like, my girl Odessa picked this up for me because once again, somehow, some way, the apple didn't make it into my cart. And I got all the way home and was spreading everything out on the foot of my bed. And I'm, I'm going, where's my apple? Where is my apple? So Odessa picked this one up for me. Thank you, Odessa. My girl be hooking me up, y'all, because I'm like, oh. And then they had the pineapple one. Isn't that cute? I'm just like, what? These are so darling. This comes off the top like this. And be careful when you open it because it splits open. And then you have about the same size. Yeah, pretty much the same ones. And you get five in each container. So you got to close it back up like this. And then, oops, sorry, y'all. Y'all know I got to drop something. And then you got to put the top back on it like this. The apple was the only one that we had a problem with. All the stems were just everywhere. And every time you touch the apple, the stem, the stem flew right off. So we got that one. And then the last one is the watermelon, which for some reason I called what? Strawberry? I don't know. You know, they look, <laughs> they look almost the same, but you have the strawberry. And the strawberry opens, I think I pre-opened it. Yeah, I did, but they have settled. What did I do with that little, what did I do with my thing now? Oh, my good. Oh, there it is. So, I'm just going to open it a little bit because I pre-opened all of these. <sighs> I tell you. I try, y'all. I do. I try. So, they're taped on both sides, if you can see. But you open this one up like this. And then you have the same, pretty much the same blenders, five in each container. But I just thought they were so, so darn cute. And I was like, okay, where's my apple? I need my apple. <laughs> so I got those. Those are my new beauty blenders. Okay, where are we? Then I found this, and I was so confused and so intrigued at the same time. This is Biomega Text Me Flexible Taffy. It's two fluid ounces. It is made in the USA. It is formulated. It's from Stamp Stanford, Connecticut. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I heard somebody knocking at my wall here. I don't know who this is from. 
Uh, la, 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 la. I'm not seeing. Oh, Biomega. Duh. <laughs> so this is Biomega Text Me Flexible Taffy, which is just another word for some gel, for hair gel, to try to lay down the flyaways. As y'all can see, my hair is flyaway. It's never going to lay down. I don't care how much gel or whatever. It's got a nice little pull top tab right here. Okay. And it doesn't really have a bad smell or a good smell. It's like more like a clean smell, but it looks more like a cream. And as you can see, I've already dipped into it because I had to try it before I came on camera. But basically all it is is you, if you, oh, a little on the waxy side, you guys. So if you want to lay down your baby hairs or any flyaways like that, that is what you do. But when you pick it up, be careful because it's like, um, it's kind of like this. You see that? <laughs> but I thought that wasn't bad. I've never heard of this. I forgot to put it in the search engine to, to research it. But yeah, it's not bad at all. It'll lay down your flyaways and it won't leave your head, your forehead looking too shiny or greasy. So I only picked up one because I had no idea what it was, <laughs> okay? But if I see more, I might get some more. I have so many gels and, you know, wax stuff for my for my hair, so I don't really need more. Another is two new items I found at the same store. This is Taste Beauty, and they're just little cute little things of hand cream, scented hand cream, and they are one fluid ounce. And they have the little lock on the um, little, what do you call this? The thing that you could hook it on your backpack or your pocketbook. This one is scented hand lotion in blueberry, I think. What did it say? Oh, I, yeah. I ripped the um, paper off, so now I can't see it. Oh, God. I didn't know it wasn't on the package. All right. Here come the glasses again, y'all. It's written in the package. This is la 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 la. Some type of blueberry or hand cream. It's not saying on the actual package. It must have said on the writing. But it's Taste Beauty. And it's just a little hand cream. Scented hand cream. So I got this one. I only saw two. And this one doesn't have it on it either. So I don't know. It must have been only on the outside of the package. But this one says scented hand lotion. So this one, yep, both of them say scented hand lotion. And this is in the red one. And they have the little, you know, key things on them. So you could hook them on your backpack or whatever. And I just thought they were cute. I already sampled them. They both came sealed. I pushed the little thing off of them. Not a very strong, overwhelming smell of any type, which I like. Yeah, I don't know what the smell was supposed to be, y'all, because when I tried it, you know, I didn't get a strong smell at all. I'm still having a problem trying to smell it, <laughs> okay? So, but it is very moisturizing. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of my hand lotion that I usually use, the Utterly Smooth, but without... I'm still not getting a smell. So both of them were sealed and I did test them both and I did not get a real smell out of either of them. So, okay, okay. my sweets, I found this um, Sally Hansen It Takes Two Miracle Gel Nail Color and Top Coat. And these were, I opened these both and I tried them. This whole package was sealed inside and it was a pain in the butt trying to get to it. But the color of this polish is really, really light. I had tried it on my nails. You have to put like a half a dozen coats on it and it still comes out really light, but it's pretty. It's almost like a blue silver. And then the top coat is right here. But when you open these, you got to make sure you hold them up because, honey, I almost spilled that. I'm, if you could see... Over a, that's where the polish is because I poured it out on my table <laughs> because I had I didn't know which end was which. So when I open it, so whatever you do when you open these, make sure you have these bottoms upright. But it was cute. I mean, I didn't ever use the top coat, but it's Sally Hansen, y'all. You know, that's a good deal. 
And I bought one of these um, items like this before when I found down in Emporia, but I had to get it because it was new to me. And then they had this new Eco Tools Clean Beauty Clean Planet New Trial Size Makeup Brush Plus Sponge Shampoo for a deep weekly cleanse, fragrance free plus dermatologist tested. It says no um, nasties, <laughs> no nasties. Um, what is that? Something for oh biodegradable formula, vegan. Vegan and cruelty free, and it's a 3.4 fluid ounce. I wish they stopped making this writing so smaller. It's, I mean, it's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> but this is what it looks like it just says, Our shampoo is a non toxic formula made with absolutely no nasties. It says the makeup brush sponge shampoo is designed with a 97% biodegradable formula to wash away makeup oil and impurities from your brushes and sponges to improve the performance and and to give a smoother makeup application okay so it's for your brushes and your sponges so i've never seen anything like that before i did not pre-open this at, at all because i want to save it you know it'll take me a month of sunday to get around to it so um one more item this is trim by Glose glozen I guess it means frozen, but it's Glozen Ice Facial. It says it's Brighten, Calm, Deep Puff. And it says, discover the coolest way to gel, to, oh, excuse me, to get healthy looking glowy skin with Glozen. <laughs> Deep Puff, tighten and calm the skin in minutes. So it gives you the directions on how to set it up, which I've already done. It looks like this. And it is a, <clears throat> and I guess you're supposed to, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I put a little piece of fruit. It said you could put, um, all right, let me just read you the directions. Remove lid, push the plug through the hole on the bottom, replace lid, fill with water, and replace plug. Place standing up on a flat surface in your freezer. Personalize your routine by adding a slice of your favorite fruit, before filling and freezing. Relax and enjoy. And then it tells you, um, gives you some little things. So I cut up a little, while well, I was eating an orange and I took a little slice of, a couple of slices of orange, oranges and put it in here. And I put it in the freezer. And yeah, it feels really, really good, y'all. I don't know. Ooh, you gotta be careful. You see the fruit in there? So yeah, I was just like, okay, another one is like the jade rollers, but this does feel good. You could probably use it on other ooh, other areas of your body, like tight muscles and stuff, but it's rubbery, so it's not going to break or anything. Just be careful not to overfill it with the water, you know, but yeah, it feels pretty, ooh, that feels pretty good. So <laughs> I'll put it back in the freezer or refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. And a few more items. Okay, my sweets. Odessa actually found these, okay? Because we were online getting ready to check out. And they had them all the way down on the bottom of by the register, but over at the next one. And Odessa saw them. And when I went to an, another store, they had the same thing. They had them down, all the way down on the bottom between the registers. But anyway, we finally found the Via LED um, humidifiers. Micro USB cable included. Product size is 3.1 inches, etc., etc. Color changing light. Spray duration. Tank capacity. On and off switch button. Micro USB cable um, powered. So they look like this. And this thing, I guess, is okay, except the USB cord that comes with it is so short. You know, I have to keep it plugged in, but it, I got the pink one. I told her to grab me a pink one, or I asked her to grab me a pink one, and it comes on. You can see it like this, but I hadn't really tried it because it's so hard to keep it. I don't see anything coming out yet. It's so hard to keep it charged. So I, I really have to keep it charged up longer. It is leaking a little bit. I don't know if I have the top on it. But I have humidifiers in my bedroom already, so I've been, oh, yeah, every time I press on it, it 
the water leaks out of it. But I thought it was pretty cool for five quarters, as Michelle would say. <laughs> and it was working for me earlier, but I might not have charged it up long enough. But I did purchase one of those. I don't know what color um, Odessa got, but she got one too. So we finally found those. And these next few items that i um, getting ready to show you, Odessa got for me. She got me this guided journal, simple and free. I don't think anything can compare to that devotional, daily devotional that she um, she blessed me with for my birthday. This is the one I showed you guys. And I just, yeah, I can't, I don't even have any words for it because I wish I could hook it up to me and carry it around with me. But this is cute as well. This is guided journal, simple and free by Jen Hatmaker, New York Times bestselling author, of for the love and um it doesn't say what the retail value is and i'm not even gonna i'll put it in the video when i oh yeah there it is usa 16 canada 22 so it looks like this and it's really really nice i was um, browsing through it yesterday <coughs> and looking through it and it's a journal y'all know i complain about never finding the good journals well odessa's got a good eye for the journals and it says, I've discovered that reduced consumption doesn't equal reduced community or reduced contentment. There is something liberating about unplugging the machine to discover the heartbeat of life still thumping. If, is there a less traveled path through our me first culture that is more adventurous and fulfilling than the one so heavily trod? So heavily trod. Okay. One that sacrifices none of the good parts of the story, but inspires us to reimagine the sections that are bleeding us all dry. I think maybe there is. Jen Hatmaker. <laughs> and I'm really, really intrigued, you guys. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> this is a good read as well. If I could just have the time to sit down. But I take the time to read my daily devotional every day. And I'm like, it says spending month six. So it goes by the months. Okay, let me just turn. This journal belongs to, dear reader, you got the intro. And month one is food. Month two is clothes. Month three is possessions. Month four is media. Month five is waste. Month six is spending. And month seven is stress. So there's the context right there, contents right there. So, yeah, it's a very, very interesting read. And I'm going to put it right here with my daily devotion to see if I can squeeze a little bit in every day with both of these books. Thank you. Thank you, Odessa. I love this girl, man. God knew who to send into my life when he met, when he uh, let me meet her. And she blessed me with these two. Now, my girl, Brown Eyes on a Budget, had offered to send me some because she found them all. And um, I told her, don't worry about it because, you know, I didn't really need any more sanitizers. Did it just get dark in here, y'all? But Odessa happened to find these in the Raleigh store that I usually go to after church. And by the time she got there, there was only the watermelon left. But I was happy just to see them in person because I saw them. I'm still kicking myself, y'all. I saw the whole case, the green and the red and the pink. And I just said, nah, I don't need any more sanitizers. But man, was I kicking myself for that. But it's by Be Pure Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. This is the watermelon scented. They're both one fluid ounce. And they are, re um, you can re, um, you know, <laughs> they're by Four Star Group. And you can refill these. And you can put whatever in, in there that you want. And y'all, the sanitizer, it was so, so nice. I was like... I don't like sanitizer, y'all, for the most time. When I found the Olinkas, I thought I had scored. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, wow. And I, it doesn't leave your hands all dry and sticky or anything like that. Odessa, <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> she grabbed two of them for me, and I was so happy to, grab, to find them. But, yeah. 
I finally got my hands on it. And it's interesting when you look for something and you finally get to see it. And I see what all the hype was about. These are nice. These are really, really nice. So that is it for tonight, my sweets, or today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know this is a little bit longer than usual, but y'all know I got to get this stuff hauled and put away. But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to, share my videos, spread the word, spread the good news. Come over, check out Sweet Sadie J TV. And... Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.